Hello everybody, welcome back to the Farming Simulator 25 Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to be talking about all things total mixed rations, or as I'm going to refer to it later on in this video, TMR. We've talked about TMR a bit when we had our water buffalo and cows video, because TMR is the only way we're going to get 100% effectiveness out of either of those animals. We also talked a little bit about TMR when we had our silage video, because silage is a key component that goes into the making of TMR. Now TMR requires two key ingredients, and then there are two optional ingredients. The required ingredients are gonna be hay and silage. Your optional ingredients are gonna be straw and mineral feed. And we're gonna to have to mix our TMR in the appropriate ratio such that we have a minimum of 20% hay and silage in our mix, and that's 20% each. So 40% of our mix has to be hay or silage. A maximum of 80% of our mix can be hay or silage as well. Straw. We can go with as little as zero straw but no more than 30% straw in our mix. And then mineral feed can be as little as zero or can be no more than 7%, okay? So again, to quickly summarize, hay and silage must have a minimum of 20% of each, but no more than 80% of either. So you can have 80% silage, 20% hay, you're good to go. You can have 50% silage, 50% hay, you're good to go. If you have 50% silage, 30% hay, and 20% straw, you're good to go because straw is going to be either 0 to 30% in that range, and mineral feed is going to be anywhere between 0 and 7% in that range. And you've probably already been looking at the mixing icon or the mixing ratio that I have here up in the upper left corner that is going to show you those ranges in the form of red bars. And as you put product into those mixers, well, you're going to see those bars go up. And they're going to turn green when they're good. They're going to turn red when they're bad. Now, how do you mix TMR? Well, you're going to need a mixer, right? So let's go to our vehicles. We're going to come here to our animals category and forage mixers. For our subcategory, here there are three trailed mixers and two self-propelled mixers. Although, honestly, I really only feel that there are two trailed mixers because this one, it just doesn't have the storage capacity in my book to really properly be a TMR mixer because it only holds 11,900 liters worth of product. And it can get kind of hairy when trying to make the proper mix with something like this because it holds so little product. That's why my personal favorite mixer is gonna be the PF 2.24 Plus. I use this a lot in FarmSim 22 and I can see myself using it a lot in FarmSim 25. It has a storage capacity of 24,000 liters and therefore is a bit more forgiving when you are trying to mix up your various ratios of TMR when using bales. We have a trailed line 4.0 system 1000 plus. That's a mouthful. From Silo King, and it has variable capacity from 35,000 liters to 45,000 liters, depending on how you configure it. Be sure to have something big like a telehandler though to feed this thing because it is pretty darn tall. Now this one will require a fairly large tractor as well to make use of because it's gonna require 240 horsepower to operate. But again, you're gonna have a lot of flexibility to work with when you have 45,000 liters worth of storage in order to get those ratios right. As far as your self-propelled TMR mixers, we have a SPW Intense 25.2 CL. Now it has pretty small storage capacity for being as expensive as it is at $232,000. It's only going to be able to store 25,000 liters worth of product. But the self-propelled mixers, well, they have a little trick up their sleeve. This intake here 
is going to be able to grind silage from directly out of the silage bunker. So you're not going to need anything else to load silage from there. And they're also going to be able to directly ingest material from a bale. So really, you don't even have to have anything to pick your bales up and put them into the mixer because this and then the leader PF 2.26 plus eco will be able to basically chew through a bale that is on the ground. Now this one is a little bit bigger at 26,000 liters, but it's still really not that big at all. Typically your TMR mixers are also gonna have the ability to unload on multiple sides. As you can see, we can unload here to the right or we can unload to the left. Now, as far as what goes into TMR, well, we know that mineral feed is an optional component. If you wanna get it, you can go here under animals and then food, you know, where you can buy your pallet of mineral feed, 10,050 liters per pallet for $1,000. Now, since this is an optional component with respect to our TMR mixers, well, why would you even wanna buy this? Well, it's a required component if you are going to use this large animal shed with feeding robot. So if you are gonna use this large animal shed with the automated robot, you're gonna to need to provide hay, straw, silage, and mineral feed. And your mineral feed is gonna go right here. So it is gonna basically make the mix for you using a cool robotic grappler or grappler, grapp, grappler arm um, and then feed once an hour as the animals need it. In addition, early on in the game, you could buy your bales from the shop if you haven't had an opportunity to make those yet. You know, get them under vehicles, then objects and bales. Here we can buy square hay bales, 8,000 liter capacity, square round bales, 4,500 liter capacity, Square silage bales, 5,000 liter capacity. Round silage bales, 3,500 liter capacity. Or straw bales, square bales at 9,000 liter capacity. Or straw round bales at 5,000 liter capacity. Hmm. Which is gonna introduce one of the most important things and one of the most complex things with respect to Farm Sim 25. And that is the sheer number of bales that are available in the game. We have three different sizes of round bales and three different sizes of, well, I should say four different sizes of square bales. So we have in essence, three different capacities of hay, three different capacities of straw, three different capacities of silage, just when we're talking about the round bales for your square bales, there are four different capacities of hay and straw and three different capacities of silage. So this video really isn't about bales, but I did want to go ahead and just kind of show you the bales so you can kind of think about some of the complexities that we have going on here. With respect to round bales, we have grass in 3,500 liters. We have hay in 4,500 liters, straw in 5,000 liters, and silage in 3,500 liters. So when it comes to mixing your TMR, well, you have 3,500 liters of hay and silage and 5,000 liters worth of straw. If you go up to a little bit bigger of a bale size, well, you have 6,500 liters of hay or silage and 7,500 liters worth of straw. Where can this and why is this an issue? Well, for example, our 2.24 plus EMR mixer that we have over here that I like the best. It's gonna have a total storage capacity of 24,000 liters, as we've already said. We've mentioned hay and straw is gonna require a range anywhere between 20 and 80% each. Well, 20 to 80% of your 24,000 storage capacity is gonna be 4,800 to 1,920 liters worth of hay or silage in your 
mixer. Straw can be 0% up to 30. 30% 30 of 24,000 is 7,200. So if we use a medium sized round bale of straw, we're already over our 30% with respect to that mixer. So if we're gonna do straw bales, we've gotta do small straw bales, at least small round straw bales. We could feed medium sized hay and silage bales, that's fine. But we definitely have to go with a small round bale if we're gonna be using that 24,000 liter mixer. Probably also with respect to the self-propelled mixers. Then we go to the larger round bales. We have 9,000 liters of hay, 11,000 liters of straw, and 9,000 liters worth of silage. Why does it say 75? Okay, it's 7,500 liters, 9,000, and 11,000. Sorry about misspeaking there. But at any rate, we could, we could put a large hay bale in there. We could put a large silage bale in there, and then we could put a small straw bale in there, and our mix would be okay. Would we be using 100% of our capacity? No, but there's no reason that we don't have to, there's no reason that we have to, I should say, fill our mixer up 100% when we're making our, our mix. We can fill it up to 80%, and if that's what gets us to our right ratio, then that's fine by me. Now, as far as our square bales go, we're starting with our largest. We have hay at 8,000, straw at 9,000, and silage at 6,500 for our large square bales. For our medium square bales, we have 7,250, 8,250, and 6,000. For our small, large bales, you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. We have hay at 6,000, straw at 7,000, and silage at 5,000. Okay, so again, think about the mixer you want to use. Do the math on the min max of the fill types. And then you're going to need to figure out which, which size bale for which ingredient are you going to be able to use in order to get your proper mix. Now, if you want to use what I call affectionately baby bales, well, baby bales, you can't make silage baby bales, but we can make small hay bales that are 600 liters and small straw bales, which are 700 liters. So if you're a little bit off, you could use one of these small bales to kind of tip the right scale. In addition to using bales, you could use loose material as well. And when I say loose material, I mean silage out of a silage bunker. So here I have a decent amount of silage that I've gone ahead and compacted in this bunker. So we can draw silage directly out of here with something like a wheel loader or telehandler, or with respect to our self-propelled mixers here, we could just come in here and just ingest it straight with that. Or we could use loose hay or straw. Here I have placed down the hay loft and inside the hayloft, I've already prepared some hay and straw. We have 8,500 liters worth of both fill types. So let me show you, I guess, let me show you the magic of these self-propelled mixers first. Let's get away from these mixers so we don't have a whole bunch of fill types. All right, so again, remember, we need a minimum of 20% hay, 20% silage, and 30% straw in our mix is our max. And this particular mixer will hold, what, 25,000 liters. So we're gonna come up here, we're gonna turn it on. And you can see we have 
We have just 127 liters worth of product. We don't have a whole lot of product in here yet. And if you look at our mixing ratio, it's 100% silage at this point, right? So again, let's come back here to our shop. Let's do a little math here real quick. 25,000 liters. I want to get, oh, let's say, let's say 40% of 25,000 liters. So let's get, let's just go with 10,000 liters worth of silage. See how this works? We just drive in here. We just suck it in. Right, and we can raise and lower the thing. Just like this. I'm gonna go until I'm at right around 10,000 liters. All right, that's close enough for that. Now I'm gonna come over here to my hay and straw. And I'm going to pull out about 10,000 liters worth of hay. Okay, so now we're at 19,225 liters of product. And if you see down here in our corner, we have total mixed rations. We're good. We can feed this right now. But I can pad it out a little bit with a little straw. And now I've padded it out with straw. You see I've got a, almost the max amount of straw. It's cheap, it's easy to make, right? You just do wheat, barley, oat, crops, harvest that, put a windrow down, you can collect it with a forage wagon or you can collect it with a baler. Either rate, here we go. We ended up, our final mix was 37% hay, 39% silage, and 23% straw. So now we can come over here and feed this, even though this is the auto feeding robot pen, we do have the ability to feed manually. All we have to do is come inside. And we're going to tip side right with you just so that we can tip toward the feeding trough. All right, so I don't know why, why it wouldn't let me take it on the, on the right side, but it's gonna let me dump here on the left side, so fine. That's what we'll do. Right, so now we are feeding our total mixed rations to our cows. And we can do the same thing with respect to bales. So let me go ahead and show you that process. That's why I think these self-propelled mixers are often kind of the high, high demand, right? Lots of people like these because they're fairly easy to work with. So if we come up here and we just turn this on, and we just drive up to our bale. Well, I'm sucking the bale in, buddy. I'm eating that bale right now. And then once we've ingested the entirety of the bale, well, it's just gonna vanish, right? So we have 6,500 liters worth of silage. Again, kind of easy math is, let's try to get about 10,000 liters worth of silage here. And when we get close, we can just raise that up. Let's try to get 10,000 liters worth of hay. Yeah, kind of a cool thing. Now let's pause here. Let's pause here and let's look real quick at our ratio. Right now we have a wrong ratio. We have one bar that's barely in the green. We have one bar that's barely outside the green. It's still red. That's wrong mix. 
down here in the lower right, it says forage. Forage is wrong. If we feed this, it's basically just feeding hay and silage. It's not the right mix. But, if we go just a little bit more, now we have total mixed rations. You notice our fill types changed color here. It's now TMR in the bottom. And we are both in the green. We're good to feed. But we're just going to continue on. Because, well, we can feed this up. We're going to get to around 10,000 liters again. And we could, we could technically go a little bit higher than that as well. Because again, we have no minimums for our straw. And we can't go over 30%. And we're sure to not go over 30% because we put 20,000 liters worth of hay and our hay and silage already in here. So there you go. Now I have EMR. I can go and feed that again. But let's talk about feeding it with a manual mixing wagon. A trailed wagon, if you will. So with this, I'm going to use a handy Merlot telehandler. And we're going to grab our medium round bale of hay. 6,500 liters. And we can see our fill indicator if we have the F1 menu up and we can just plop our bale in here and it will basically be consumed slowly I'm also going to add our bale of silage our medium bale of silage, 5,500 liters. And I would just dump it in, but I wanted to demonstrate something here. If we get close to the top and we slowly, you see my gauges are moving. So I can kind of, I can slowly dispense my, my bale if I slightly lower it into the mixer. But I'm going to put the whole bale in there, right? And now we are in the green. We're good. We're in the green. We are. We have TMR. We could not do anything at this point in feeding. But I'm going to grab a small straw bale and hope that this doesn't throw off my ratio. I should be good. Well, I just threw the bale off my forks, but that's okay. Since I don't have a lot of confidence, I'm just going to hover this over there and let it slowly take it in. And if it gets way too close to the top, I can just lift it up real fast and stop this whole process. Do my 27%. Oh no. Holy dog. Look at that. 29%. Now we have 17,000 liters, right? We still have room to go here. We're only at 70% of our mix. So I could come in here and I could add another bale of something. I could add more hay to the mix. So right now we're doing two medium hay bales. One medium silage bale and one small round silage bale. But if I'm not careful, I'm going to get too little silage. Alright. That'll work. What's our capacity now? 
I'm fine with that. So what we did was we did two medium sized hay bales, one medium sized silage bale, and one small sized round straw bale. And that got us 97%. Pretty darn close. Now, of course, I could have done hay bales and then loose silage from this bunker. I could have done loose silage from the bunker and straw from the hayloft. Any number of possible combinations is what I could have done. But the key to remember when mixing TMR is going to be your ratios. And, you know, basically just do the math. We need a minimum of 20% of the overall capacity of our mixer has to be hay and silage per those bars, right? We can have up to 80% hay or silage. So use the math, figure out your capacity, do the math, figure out what your min and max fill amounts are for each of those inputs. We can have 0% to 30% of our mix in straw. And we can have 0% to 7.5% of our mix in mineral feed. So if you really want to feed mineral feed with a mixer, you can come right up here next to it and hit R, and it will add product to your mixer. Right, we want to add just a wee little bit. We don't want to go overboard here, but we could say add 3% mineral feed, right? So now we've done that. I honestly never feed mineral feed because it, well, it costs me money and uh, I don't need it. So this time, let's just demonstrate. I can make my mix with two bales of silage. One bale of hay and one bale of straw. And that'll work out the same. Now, a lot of time players of farm sim, you may remember back in what I call the glory days of FS19 and earlier, all bales were 4,000 liters and all bales were either round or square. We didn't have different size round bales, different size square bales, and we definitely didn't have different capacity round and square bales depending on the fill type because each fill type has a different capacity to it. That was the easy days because your TMR back in those days, well, it was either one bale of hay and two bales of straw. No, one bale of hay and two bales of silage or one bale of silage and two bales of hay and then a bale of straw. So you can do two parts hay or silage and then one part hay or silage, depending on what you did two parts of, and then a straw bale and you were good to go. So this should fill us up pretty darn close. There we go. Now our straw bale or our silage bales were smaller, right? So we're at 96%, but now we have used all four ingredients in our mix. So guys, that's it. That's the ins, that's the outs. That's all of the fun with respect to mixing up TMR. Don't get too, too worried about it being difficult. The key is just understanding and doing the math. As I'm gonna say one more time, your mix has to be at least 20% hay and 20% silage, but can't be more than 80% hay or silage. You can't have more than 30% of your mix be straw and no more than 7% of your mix can be mineral feed. With that information in your pocket, you are going to be very successful 
in mixing up your TMR each and every time. Until next time, happy farming.